start, uneventful beginning for Dennis Hummett. Juggernaut racing for the lead. Juggernaut heat up. Dennis is on it, strikes the lead, right at the top of the stretch, and goes into the length lead, now it's relay speed for the final furlong. Left is battling on with his back in the second, Scarlett trying to come out late. Rowdy Gates is fourth, there's one furlong to go. He's going to hold on to the right, he's going to go. and champagne or somewhere. Jake's got your big bottle. All right, all right. Horse. I mean, he's well written right so far, so let's see what's next. Yeah, what did he feel like? Uh, he feel great. He feel great for a two-year-old. He's got a lot of talent, so let's see. Hopefully, he stay sound and healthy. As a two-year-old, did he make any mistakes that you like Not to see really. him do he's something do every, different? He do everything right. He do everything right. He act like an old horse. Yeah. Can win by whatever length he needs to. Yeah, I ask him to run. He, he, he respond really well. He, he still have some more, but I just save it on the end. I see like he was he was going away, so I just tried to save something and just yeah. keep it together. Don't, don't ask him no more. So a mile and a quarter won't be any problems next year? Well, I don't think so, so let's see. Yeah. After the maiden win, Jenny had told you that uh, this horse is speaking for himself from now on. I don't have to build him up anymore. He just shows what he can do. It's just an amazing animal. He goes out there and does it with his ears up like he's just galloping around there. I mean, the jock was shutting him down the last 16th of a mile, and he still runs the time he did. He's something special. Oh, so Seems like he can do whatever you want him to do. You're right, and that's a, a very important in big races and going, you know, to be able to be versatile. That was what I was worried about today. The only concern I had was getting in a speed duel, burn himself up or something. You know, first trip around two turns for all these two-year-olds, and and it worked out perfect though. He, he did show he could set off a horse. It didn't bother him at all. He went three wide, which is not easy to do on this racetrack, and keep on going. And he kicked home good. And like I said, I read said he just throttled him down the last part of it. Straight to the Breeders' Cup from here? Or? Yeah, straight to the Breeders' Cup. Yeah. Just like raising a stop on anywhere else. Do you have any sense as soon as the All Boss horse of a do over? Because his. He has exactly followed not this time. Well, I'm a creature of habit, so I end up going to run in all the same places that have worked before. And uh, it worked for not this time. We got beat ahead, and he got unfortunately got hurt in the Breeders' Cup. So hopefully we go out there and uh, get one more turtle out of the way. How far do you allow yourself to think ahead? Well, you can't. You, you know, you, you, I try to stop myself and try to go race to race, but 
It's hard. Yeah, it's hard when you have a horse of this magnitude to think Derby. And, uh, I heard you say that I read. You said mile and a quarter is as the well. He told me so. walking in the winter circle. He said he can he can go. He'll get better the further he goes. That's all right. A mile and a quarter. Right. And uh, now he's proven he'll run over this racetrack. But you look pretty good running without a jockey the first time. Does this horse have some even intangibles that maybe even not this time? Again, same ownership, so you can feel free to compare. Not this time. We never saw the best of either. That's the only horse that I've had so far can compare with this one. And it's hard to say one's better than the other. They're both superstars. And we, we never really, not this time, always had a little nagging stuff wrong with him. This horse doesn't have a thing wrong with him. There's nothing to worry about on him as of now. The, the cat's out of the bag about Ellis Park now. Everybody realizes what a uh, great place it is to break a two-year-old man. Going into the Breeders' Cup? I feel a lot better right now. I feel a lot better going into the Breeders' Cup. So that'll be exciting. Right here is an invitation to the Breeders' Cup right in my hand. So I, I'm, they officially deliver it right at the end of this race. So that's exciting. The name itself? Yeah. What, what is Dennis's moment? You know, uh, Tisno, Tis Now. Okay, uh, that's the sire. And basically, if you take a look at Tis now, we said Dennis is what moment. So that's kind of where the name came. I don't have a great other explanation for that. But obviously, we're very happy with it right now. And they named it after me. And it was a surprise to me. I asked myself, where'd that name come from? <laughs> are, you, are you looking past November? You know, obviously, I don't want to get ahead of myself very much. But uh, getting 10 points into the Derby right now, that, that's, that's a big help. So we'll, we'll give this talk horse plenty of time. Dale Romans has been excellent at trying to figure out what's the timing and where do we go. And we'll probably start talking next week about what's the timing, what's the plan for the horse and everything.